Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do my first video for the first week of the Build Your Stash Embellishment collab that Mandy is doing on her YouTube channel, channel at Mandy's Place. There's actually quite a few ladies that signed up for it. I counted all the names um, that were in the email for the ladies that we got a link below in the description box. So including myself and Mandy, there was 21 of us. It's a huge collaboration. So I hope that you guys take the time to go check us all out. And maybe you guys can get some ideas from us. I'm going to start off. I wanted to do something quick and easy. The kids are still home for summer and don't have a lot of time. Because we're going to be doing it every Monday. And today's already Monday. So I didn't get it done ahead of time. For this one, I'm going to be doing just some banners. So I'm just going to, I don't know where my twine is. So I found, um, I went and got some little stickers from Walmart that had little letters on them. And I built some words. This one says smile. And in our um, video, she wanted us to make, you know, like four or five sets of embellishment in each set having you know anywhere from two to four in the pack so I chose to like I said go with a banner because it was quick and easy um, and all I did was I took about three quarter inch strips of paper and then I cut them by two inches long so I could fold them in half and then I just cut the little banner shape out. I don't have a die or a, a punch or anything like that to be able to do that. So I just measured it all and cut it and then I found some pink ink that I had and distressed the edges and found some pink um, thin ribbon that would go with it. So I'm just doing each one of these in here. She wanted us to kind of show our process of how we made our embellishments also so I hope everyone's having a good summer vacation my boys start back up to school in like a week and a two days they start on a Wednesday here it's kind of weird but it is what it is so I got some more embellishments planned out some more detailed ones but I will definitely be doing those after the kids go to school. <laughs> I had to bribe them to stay away for a few minutes so I could do this video. So I have to hurry because they will be impatient. Because I am at the kitchen table. Still. Don't have my own spot yet. So. Here's this one. Got some glue strings get rid of those pretty easy this one says smile and you wouldn't even be able to tell but I ran out of L's and had to make my own out of two other letters and then this one right here is the last one and I'm gonna put the word summer on it so these are the little guys that I had gotten And I had taken um, a little uh, cutting board and measured out how long and how wide these little letters were so that I knew how big to make my little banners. I wanted to go, I don't have too much cute cute paper a lot of my styles shabby chic and I know the mermaid and um, unicorn and all that's really popular right now and so I wanted to find a piece of paper that matched pretty good so when I gave these out in happy mail or as extras for swaps they'd be able to use them with the stuff that's going on that's popular trendy so 
I don't want to leave a ton of ribbon on the edge. I know most of these will probably just go on the outsides of packages to help, you know, be bag toppers. I have all my other ones done. I got the them in their bags. I have their bag toppers on them. Just wanted to show you guys really quick what I'm doing. I thought it'd be better to do the front and the back instead of just gluing the a single-sided piece of paper onto the ribbon because I didn't want it to rip off. So and that way it makes it a little sturdier also. Oops, that has kind of Whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm trying to hurry here. So this video is not super long. I'm trying Dollar Tree hot glue. I know my glue gun's really dirty, you guys. I use it for so many things. So many. I love hot glue. I'm a hot glue freak. That's 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 my favorite. Over wet glue or tape or anything like that if I can hot glue it it's getting hot glued but these um new ones see look they jump out like they're like so slick that when you go to do it it'll just kick it right out crazy so I gotta kind of push it in I don't know I've never used Dollar Tree glue sticks before they seem to do okay because I usually use Gorilla Glue glue sticks like I said for all my other crafty projects but those get a little expensive and I'm not wasting my good glue on some paper so last one and then after I got them all done I grabbed my piece of paper I made sure I had some bags to put it in and I've just been using my leftover sticker bags from like the Dollar Tree. Good excuse to keep buying stickers, right? I need bags. So, here's this one. I'll put this on there like that. And I probably shouldn't do this, but it's what I do anyways. Um, sorry guys. I'm going to cut some foam up and place it on the back that way they can position it however they want they can put as much curve or whatever they want to do with it to make it look how they want to I've just been sticking one on every single one I put three little banners to each package and each packet, and there's four packages. I was hoping to get five, but I didn't quite have enough. So I was just putting like a tiny little drop of hot glue on there. Just enough to barely, barely hold it. Like I said, I don't know if I should do this or not, but I tried to use glue dots, and it stuck to the bag, and that didn't work very well. So I didn't know what to do and I didn't want it to really stick that much. I figured this would work pretty good. Just kind of glue it on the back. I mean, I'm using very, very little hot glue. Here's my last one that says smile. So all my words are, I got like two that say hello, one that says hi, one summer. Three smiles, uh, three funs, and one that says happy mouth. So I'll show you all those in just one second. As soon as I'm done bagging this up, um, I hope you guys stay around and, like I said, check out all 21 of us for the next five Mondays. We got some exciting stuff gonna happen. I'm excited. So. Get back in there. I'll put this 
over. I'll put these last tiny, tiny little drops of hot glue on there. Oops, that one's got a little much. And then, like I said, I was just reusing a sticker bag from Dollar Tree Stickers. Since I have yet to purchase any. Just a little bit to try and create a good seal because after I cut the top off, I took some of this uh, jumbo chunky glitter. I can't put it in here to show you guys, but and went crazy sprinkling some in there, make it a little shakery. And then I topped it with a doily and. On my first one, I messed up. I'll show you guys in just a second. I accidentally covered parts of my stuff. And I burnt the crap out of my fingers. So I wasn't thinking, and I just kind of like smeared the hot glue everywhere, and I forgot about the holes. That was not the brightest. So yes, make sure you put the hot glue not on the holes. Is that right there? like so and then we'll just go like that I really hope whoever gets this likes it at, a, at the end of the five week, five week collaboration we're going to do a swap with just one person and send them one of each of the five embellish sets of embellishments that we make I'm going to get some blue crepe paper. Never done this before. This is the first time on my or my bag toppers that I've done this. So, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. But it seems to work. Looks pretty cute. We'll stick with it. If you guys know an easier way, let me know. I am new and I am open to suggestions. And then one of the bags that I took was from some of these butterflies. So I'll try and use them up. Put a glue drop, blob of glue on the bottom. Good lord, can't talk. And then, where did it go? Back here. I got where that little pearl is. I'm just going to stick. A little gem. So there we have it. There's my first set of embellishments for building my stash. So I will show you guys what we got here. This is the first one and that's where I messed up and accidentally put it too low. But hello fun smile. Smile fun and hello. This one says Fun, and then happy mail so those two kind of go together and then summer high and smile so thank you guys for stopping in and checking out my channel and I hope you guys enjoy watching our collab I'll see you guys next Monday thanks bye guys